Do you hate RPGs that are so easy that you can just hold down the A button to win 90% of your battles? Do you yearn for a challenging game that can just stick it to you and say, screw you, you get to reset now. You don't deserve to live because it's so brutally unfair. Do you want more level grinding than ever before in RPG history? Then come and let's play Dragon Warrior 2. Yeah. You've been waiting for this one for a long time, viewers. I've been ranting about this one for a while now and now it's finally here. This might just be the hardest RPG I've ever played uh, without it being like downright buggy. Uh, so this time around, what I did was I actually had to do some hacking or debugging of my own to find all the status resistances for the monsters to help make the game a lot easier because no one had done that before, apparently, at least not to my knowledge. I couldn't find it on GameFAQs, so, uh, but I did have a lot of help from some people on GameFAQs, so uh, I'll credit them in the video description, of course. So let's get started here. Now this time I'm not going to use the same name as before, we're just going to start from scratch. So let's go with the Japanese name for Eredric. Loto. Uh, in the Game Boy Color versions, that was his name, Loto, or Roto, or whatever it's supposed to be. But in the American version, it was Loto. So let's get this show on the road here. Oh, we actually get a little bit of uh, story this time. They didn't put it all in the manual, I guess. So apparently, yeah, in the last game, a long time ago apparently, we defeated the Dragon Lord, restored peace to the land, and then we founded all these other kingdoms, or... Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. So, the, the hero from the last game founded all of these kingdoms. How did he pull that one off? I mean, what, did he knock up Gwalen, leave the kid in one kingdom, and set off to found the next kingdom? Or did, did he just get tired of, but thou must, every day, and just ditch Gwalen at the first kingdom and then set off to found another kingdom with a new lady friend at the next one, and so on and so forth. I mean, they're not very specific here. I mean, they say they're all his descendants, but are they all her descendants too? Or, well, actually, I think they do kind of explain that, but never mind. I, I don't know. They don't explain a whole lot. Oh, and we actually get a little uh, intro scene to the game. All right. Well, everything looks okay here. I'll be a little quiet for this part. Oh, that's a big lie, and you know it, viewers. Oh no! The sky is turning green! What are we gonna do now? Nah. Danger! Danger! Crap. No, nah, no, nah, I was just jacking with you. Nah, yeah, yeah, he, he's here. Way to rally the troops, dude! We don't stand a chance! Run for your lives! Whoa! Took that guy out in one hit! Hey, hey, alright! He's one of the tough dude. Not bad for an old dude. Yeah, yeah, we don't stand a chance, daughter. Um, you're screwed! Just, just hide in the basement and hope they don't find you. Yeah, that, that great advice. Oh no! Got her trapped! Don't touch her! Don't touch her with your tail. I know it has a mind of its own. Well, that's what happens when you build a castle in a desert. No! You don't stand a chance. A 
I'll be honest, that music gets me a little choked up. That was beautiful music for the intro there, though. I, I, I'm serious, though. That scene gets me choked up. I mean, she was killed right in front of her father. He was killed. Wait a minute. The king was killed right in front of her daughter. His daughter. I mean, what the hell? How did that get past Nintendo of America? I mean, that's, he was brutally murdered right in front of her. Jesus Christ. They burned the castle down to the ground. And this was added to the American version of the game, by the way. That was not in the Japanese version. I am shocked that they, that they went through that effort to add that to the American version of the game. I can't believe that. In the Japanese version of the game, we start right here with the soldier coming in saying that, oh yeah, I'm kind of dying here, but uh, yeah, we got to stop this uh, evil sorcerer trying to take over the world. So pretty easy premise. Yeah, we need more useless old guys to uh, stop them. I mean, heck, the old guy could take out those gremlins in one shot. Those gremlins are hard. This is a hard game. I'm getting too old for this sort of thing. Okay, I, I guess uh, we have to face our doom! And we got a new command window in this game. I'll go over that as, well, as it becomes pertinent. Oh, gotta save the world! I'm guessing I'm 16 in this game or something. So, and now, new to Dragon Warrior 2, you can just walk on stairs to go down them. You don't have to use a stairs command or, or anything like that. So that's kind of nice. And in this game, we get more party members than the last game. We actually get two additional party members this time around. So, all right. Let's uh, open this chest here. You just use the search command. There's no take command anymore. You just search, and if there's a treasure chest beneath you, you automatically open it. And now, we have to actually equip stuff manually. It doesn't automatically equip like the last game because, well, there's a lot more equipment this time around, so... Ooh, nice boost to our attack power there. All right. All right. Yeah, a lot of these people will uh, give us little tutorial information, stuff like that. It is your destiny. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we should go left to left win, I guess. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Let's see. Now, these doors here, the one to the right is a silver door. The one down there is a golden door. You can tell by the little golden border around the red door there, so that's how you know. There's different types of keys in this game, not just one universal magic key, so just something to keep in mind. Let's get some more information before heading out on our quest here. <laughs> I doubt that's true anymore. They burned that castle to the ground. Gonna have to find someone else. I don't believe you. Let's check it out. Well, we are pretty far away. This is a monolith there, so yeah, that's how you teleport all around the world. So it makes it a lot easier to move around, because this world map is huge compared to the last game. I heard it's like four times larger. It, it might be, I don't know. And here we got the uh, House of Healing, where you can get, uh, well, you can revive characters, cure points and status. They got status ailments in this one, or permanent status ailments, so. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those. I don't think the dog has any insight. No, nope, no, nope, nothing interesting. Okay, so here we got an item shot. Got medical herbs to restore HP, antidote herbs to cure poison. Um, but really, we don't need to buy anything there. Um, if you're playing the Game Boy Color version, they actually sell leather shields here too. So that may be something you wanna check out. So now we have to do some mo well, some level grinding. Maybe not more level grinding, because we haven't done any yet. So let's head on up to the hills, just like, well, pretty much all Dragon Warrior games. If you are in the hills, the encounter rate is a little higher than if you're, like, directly on the plains itself. So let's just walk around for a little while. Or maybe they reduced the encounter rate. I don't know. Where'd all the monsters go? There we go. All right, one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, unlike Dragon Warrior 1, we don't have... Uh, a background anymore. It just goes all black and it's just pure text. Just pure classic RPG goodness. Whoa! Three enemies! I'm totally unprepared for three. 
We didn't have to deal with this in the last game. Yeah, yeah, new to Dragon Warrior 2, since we have more party members, we have more enemies to deal with, and you got new complex strategies and everything like that. So basically, just like the first game, you know, basically just start out with the fight command. Uh, actually, our main hero in this game, we don't learn any spells. Our two companions will. You also have run, obviously, and instead of being able to cast spells, you have the parry command, which is basically defend. It reduces uh, all incoming physical damage by half. So, there you are. Uh, un unlike future games, it does not uh, cut spell damage in half. I think it does cut spell damage in half in uh, the Game Boy Color version, or at least I know it does for enemies, but I forget whether it does that for you, too. But, yeah, just keep on walking around doing some level grinding. I'm just going over the battle mechanics while I'm doing some of it here. Uh, you don't want to go any farther north than where I am now, because if you do, you'll get into battles with really hard enemies. So what I want to do is I want to get up to level 3 before moving on to the next town there. Hey, hey, all right, we gained another level. And yeah, gain experience points, you gain some stat, you gain a level, you gain some stats. Really all I care about is strength and HP for the hero there. Man, I remember when I first got this game, this back in 1990. I was, let's see, I would have been eight years old at the time. Long time ago. I remember seeing the silver box and the case and everything. It's like, whoa. I remember how, uh, I remember vividly receiving this game myself. Uh, it was, it's an interesting story, actually. My brother probably won't like this story, but, uh, uh, my brother and I, we were roughhousing. You know, we were kids, you know? I mean, boys roughhouse, right? But this time, for whatever reason, I don't remember why, it, it got a little too rough. And I kicked my brother really hard into the metal stair railing. And well, I, he was six years old, so I mean, of course he started crying, right? Whoa, holy crap, a uh, new enemy. This guy's a little tougher. But anyway, so my brother was crying there, and well, I knew I was in deep trouble, because I, I thought I like really hurt him or something, right? So I ran from my room and shut the door, because I was like, no, I'm not letting my parents in my room now. And my mom was freaking out. I mean, I mean, there was no, like, I didn't injure him or break his arm or anything like that. But, you know, I mean, I probably didn't kick him as hard as I thought I did. But, I mean, there was no major damage. But, you know, obviously, you know, mom's going to be, you know, real concerned about that sort of thing. And she should be. Uh, my, my dad, though, he understood, you know, boys will be boys. And, well, uh, of course, you know, he had to act like he was the mediator, you know, resolving the situation. So... After I was grounded to my room uh, for like half an hour, my dad decided to cheer me up by advancing my copy of Dragon Warrior 2 to me. You know, just to cheer me up because he knew boys would be boys and we would rough house and he doesn't panic over it. So, I always remember how I got my copy of the game. So anyway, when your HP gets really low here, uh, basically just go to the end there, rest up, and you'll get all of your HP restored. It'll also restore your MP as well, if, if you actually have MP, that is. But yeah, that's basically how, how it works there. Let's see, just need six more experience points. If I can finish it, great. If not, well, it's not the end of the world there. But yeah, pretty much, uh, we're pretty, much, well, faster than a lot of the enemies here. But the reason I want to do the level grinding is actually not even so much for the levels. I mean, my, I can already one-shot these guys at level one. But what I want to do is save up enough money for the leather shield there. So, yeah, one more battle, and that ought to do. So, you see, about five minutes of level grinding, we're ready to go. I'll have the 90 gold and everything that I need, so... Uh, once I finish my level grinding, then we'll head to Lethwin, and then we'll begin searching for our other companions. Next time on Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. I love the overworld music, too.